Why is there a chair here? Um, to sit on? Why is there a chair here? What, are you trying to get deep or something? Why is there a chair here? Well, I mean, if you really want to go there, we can look to Plato and Aristotle, and we can see that, like in engineering, form follows function. So literally, the form of everything is out of reason for the function that it performs. So a chair is to sit on. Why is there a chair here? I mean, what, you want to get all existential and talk about why is anything here? I mean, this chair is no more here for a reason than I am. We can look to somebody like St. Augustine and we can see how, how can we actually be separate from God when God literally is omnipotent and everything in itself. Like, how can my body utilize all the most advanced forms of mathematics, but then consciously I can't necessarily bring forth to mind and put on paper the most advanced mathematics that exist? Why is there a chair here? I mean, are you trying to point out something in an existential manner? that is meaningless, and by showing the existentialism of something meaningless, you're showing the meaninglessness to existentialism, both supporting what you're doing and refuting it at the same time. Why is there a chair here? I mean, if you really want to get into it, then why is anything here? I mean, most people either come to one of two conclusions, either predeterminism through an initial cause, an all-knowing initial cause, from which all reactions themselves could be predetermined from, or literally the vast expanse of chaos in which everything is merely an illusion of order. Like so, this chair we have here. Why is there a chair here? I mean, we could get into the essence of things and we could say, what could I use this for? In a sense, how could I MacGyver this to perform the function that I want it to rather than to utilize the function which it was determined to be as a chair. Why is there a chair here? I'm not sure if you're really deep or if you're just a total ignoramus. <laughs>